Hey folks, well I got some more solar for you. In fact, what I need to do right now is go shut off my solar panels. This folks is a combiner box. Let me shut it off. All right, that kills the power coming from my ground mount panels. Those guys there. Now the reason I turned off those panels is because I'm going to install a new charge controller. Now, why install a new one when my Morning Star has been working for 14 years? So much nicer in the shade. All right, so the Morning Star wasn't designed for LifePo 4 batteries, and so all you can do is tell it to send 29.1 volts to the batteries, let the battery BMSs do their job. But that isn't really ideal or the best utilization of your solar power. And so I decided to go ahead and do an upgrade. And I've been thinking about doing it a while. And Bateria came to me. They actually reached out to me and said, how would you like to try out our new charge controller? And I thought, well, heck, I was thinking about upgrading anyway. So why not? I actually didn't open up the box and read the instructions of the charge controller before bringing it out here. I inspected the box. There was no damage. I thought we're good to go. Let's roll. Well, I didn't download the app that you need to use the Bluetooth module that I'm going to install. So I probably won't be able to show you the Bluetooth module until I get back out here and do another video. And you now know before I ever go to do this, I should open the book and read it and see where the you know, software is because all my installs from 14 years ago, as well as 11 years ago, I didn't need to download software. I could install everything, get it working. And I think that's gonna be the case today as well. First, I gotta get into this back room, gotta get some lights. I've already killed the power to the solar panels. So we're ready to go. Let me get this room opened up, get some lights turned on and let's get this thing installed. Like my fancy back door. We're gonna fix that, hopefully. This year, that's my plan, one of my big focuses. Fix this back room. All right, let's get in the room. All right, folks, here is the Morningstar charge controller that I'm going to replace. And this guy, don't mind all the mess, folks. This is the back room. It's a temperature sensor, Bluetooth module, and the Bateria Power Sunrock 60 MPPT charge controller. Now, a couple things I like right off the bat, a couple things I don't like. Well, at least one I don't like. I like these connectors, I think, those will work fine. Kind of nice and clean, no need to make penetrations, they're already there. Plug the wires in, you're done. It has RS-485 connector. It's got a temp sensor for the batteries and a ground. Pretty simple, and you can pull the bottom plate off. Now on the front, you know, you've got alarms, so you've got a status and okay buttons, and then a screen. Something I don't like is that it has four holes to mount it, one on each corner. They're very, very close to the top, and I feel like that's not the best scenario. Now, I can get a screwdriver in there, but I'm not getting in a, a drill or something like that without an extension or a long Phillips driver. I don't really like that. I like a bigger, taller setup. I also like the slide style. So these are straight drill it in. But if you look at my Morning Star, it's got this kind where you can put the screw in, run this over the head and drop it down onto the screw. And it also has some more of those inside. And then the Outback does as well. Now, another challenge I have is this whole wall, this whole interior of this room is going to get paneled and it currently is not. This is a temporary install and I'm going to have to install that bateria right here out of the way for now. Now it will get changed, folks, once this wall gets finished. Then I can mount everything on the wall the way it should be, or over here on this wall. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta disconnect the Morning Star from DC Power. That's that one right there. Now the Morning Star, no lights. Now. Morningstar, when I bought it, was about $500. That's the Morningstar TriStar MPPT TS MPPT 60. 
This is the Sunrock 60. So this should directly replace that guy. All right, got that one off. I'm doing this one-handed so you can see what I'm up to. Here we go. And then finally the ground. Somebody made these tight. <clears throat> okay. All right. We're gonna take this guy and I may pop these off. And then when I look at this, I just have screw terminals here for those guys there. That's simple enough. All right, now we gotta put it on the wall. All right, my other camera shut off. So I've got a couple screws in just to hold it in place. We're pretty tight in here, but this will be fine for now, I think. So all I've gotta do now is get my DC plugged in. So we're gonna try to do that. And hopefully my camera won't shut down on me. <laughs> they say to make it tight. Okay, I made it tight. Plug that guy in there. Let's get the ground on there, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the solar while I'm at it, just because it'll be there and all I gotta do is flip a switch. So, okay, 24 volts. Okay, we'll take that guy. I don't know where we're gonna put it for now. I might just put it up there, but I, I think that this will work best closer to where your cell phone's gonna be. Let's have a look at this guy, see if I can find settings on it before I go turn my panels on. Yep, okay, here we go. Press and hold OK button for three seconds. Battery, oh, okay. So we go run, let's go to battery, one, 1,000. Okay, there we go. Press OK, S key to select the parameter. Life po, okay. Long press OK for three seconds to save the settings. What I've got here, I've got this guy installed. I didn't get this plate installed because I dropped the screw. I need a magnetic screwdriver to put this on. It's very easy to change your settings. You just press and hold the OK button for three seconds and use OK and set to change your settings. And then you hold it again for three seconds and then you hold it for long press in order to exit. Stand by, hopefully my uh, <laughs> camera doesn't shut off on me, but we'll go out and flip this on out here. It doesn't like the heat, folks. All right. Panels are on. Let's see if we're getting some voltage from the panels. All right, camera's still running, look at that. Okay, there we go. Tapping this makes it come to life. So, notice your GoPro has turned itself off the previous session because it was too hot. Well, we'll turn it back on and make it run. PV voltage is 31 volts, which is low for those panels, so they're in the shade. Battery voltage is 26.6. Battery amps is half an amp. All right. 13 watts, folks. It's, it's in the shade. I like it. Okay. All right. 31 volts. This thing wants to link, but I can't link to it because I don't have uh, the software. So we'll get that. But I like the small profile of this unit. I'm glad this camera didn't keep shutting down. It's total, total, <laughs> total joke show here. <laughs> uh, folks, if you're not into filming in the heat, then you may never have experienced the frustration of GoPro cameras shutting down routinely on you due to heat. Hey folks, well, it's 78 degrees inside the cabin, but let's talk about the Bateria. I like several features on that unit, so we'll have to see what the longevity of it is. I will come back to you in the future, in fact, in the near future, when I get the Bluetooth setup done. Once you read the book and you understand what it's telling you, and it's actually very simple, I just happen to be a dumb jarhead and I tend to rush into burning buildings very quickly without really looking at the instructions, right? That's just who I am. I've got to tell you, I like some of the features. I like the fact that it's easy to see what's going on. Once I get the Bluetooth set up, as long as it's powerful enough to reach me here, which is about 20 feet away, I mean, you know, if I could read it on my phone sitting here, that would be fantastic. And that's why I wanted to give this a try. This thing's got LifePo 4 settings. The Morningstar did not. It's basically the same. It's a 60 amp charge controller with 150 volt max. I like the install. Very, very easy. It 
auto senses on voltage so I didn't have to worry about what my battery voltage was. I just plugged it in and turned it on and it said, oh, you have 24 volt batteries, okay. And then you change to LiPo 4s, you change to Fahrenheit if you're like me in the US, and you turn the load off if you're not gonna use the load function, the instruction manual that comes with the Batera charge controller. Super simple, easy to read, and I like that. Will the Bateria run for 10 or 12 or 14 or 20 years? We're not gonna know that and for another 10 years. So keep watching to find out, right? <laughs> now let me pull the book up here and tell you about this guy. This is a Sunrock MPPT solar charge controller by Bateria Power. They were founded in 2017 by a bunch of engineers. I mean, it seems like a good company. They're fairly new. So it's 150 volts, 60 amps, 1500 and some odd, uh, 1580 I think it said, uh, watts, that's pretty good. Very easy to install, super simple to install, very easy to understand. The only con that I could see outside of no big heat sink, just a small fan, which may or may not be a con in reality, was the mounting holes on the body. I would really like those to be extended a little bit, as well as the little window door that you take off in order to screw down your terminals. The little screws on there are hard for my big fat fingers to hold, and I actually dropped both of them. I found one. I haven't attempted to put it back in yet. I need to try that. Uh, I really need to get a magnetic screwdriver, I think, to do it because of where it's located, because I just dropped two of them. And I still gotta find the other one. So I gotta get a broom in there and try to sweep around. But the funny thing is, is the one that I found was actually behind me. It wasn't even in the corner where I thought it would be. So I don't really like that. Small, tiny little screws for somebody our age, because most of you, I'm guessing, are my age or older. Our big fat fingers don't work as well as they used to. And if you're a hard working person like I was, you got big fat fingers, right? <laughs> you know, you got big fingers that come on those big paws that you use to chop wood and, and run a sawmill and do all those kinds of things. So those tiny little screws, I think honestly, and I don't want to offend anybody, but that's probably for the guy who's got the man bun, right? <laughs> so yeah. put bigger screws in, Bateria. Change that window a little bit. My suggestion would be to put that window on a hinge so that it pops down maybe. And then when you put it back up, it's got clips or something. Then you don't have to screw it in. Or at least if you got to screw it in, have them come in straight in instead of up from the bottom. Have them screw in horizontal so that they're a lot easier to screw in and you know, drop them on the ground like I've been doing. <laughs> so other than that, honestly, it's a pretty simple install. I, I guess I could comment on the Bluetooth app, which I really wanted out here. I don't open that back room up very much, so I don't want to have to go back there and check anything. I want remotes in my cabin so I could see what's going on with my power. And I, I love the idea of the Bluetooth adapter on that. It's a great idea. So kudos to Bateria Power for doing that. Unfortunately, because I didn't read the book before coming out here, which I think a lot of people would do, right? You, you grab the box, you check the box over, it's not crushed, so everything should be good, and you get out to your cabin in the woods where you have no cell phone coverage and no internet or anything else, and then you go, oops, no app on my phone. So honestly, that's not really a con. If anything, that's a hit on me for not checking it out first, and you know, I didn't do an unboxing, I could have, but it was packaged well. Come on, folks, most things are today. I mean, if it wasn't, I would have told you. It was packaged very well. Everything came very prompt, no problems there. Is this a viable option for you at your cabin in the woods? Absolutely, I would give them a try. I think they're worth it. So there you have it, straight from me, despite all my foibles today with cameras shutting down because of the heat, which, I mean, it got over 90 degrees today. I don't think we hit 100, it looked to me like maybe 93 or four today, and that really messed things up. Kudos to Bateria Power. Thank you for sending me the unit. I do appreciate it. We'll see how it performs. Thanks for watching, folks. I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button for me. It helps the channel out. I'll drop another video right here for you to check out. Thanks for watching, folks. Y'all have a great evening, because I will. The old jar head out.